This is Grow Omaha Uncut, where you can watch our radio show, including what goes on in the commercial breaks. And be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. Well, good morning and welcome to the Grow Omaha Show. Jeff Beals here. We are brought to you by Dingman's Collision Center and D&M Roofing. This is the only show in the metro area that talks about the growth and development of said metro area. And without any further ado, I'm going to bring on my co-host, a legendary real estate dealmaker, Trenton Maggot. You are very kind, Jeff. How are you? Good. And we are, Trenton, it's a very exciting day because we are live at Nebraska Crossing, Interstate 80, Highway 31 in beautiful Gretna. And it's exciting because the brand new REI co-op store has opened. And I tell you, I, I visited the store last night. It was busy. It was hopping. It's a pretty cool place. It's uh, one of a lot of people's favorite places, and this is one of our favorite places here at Nebraska Crossing. Well, let's bring on our friends from Nebraska Crossing. First, we have Rod Yates, developer, founder, owner of Rod, of Nebraska Crossing. Good morning, Rod. Thank you, Jeff and Trenton. Great having you out for another phenomenal new store opening at Nebraska Crossing. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. And we have Johanna Boston from Nebraska Crossing. Good morning, Johanna. Hey, good morning, guys. How are you? Well, we are very good. And, and one of the things we're excited about is the unveiling of the winner of the new car. So in case you didn't hear us talking about this over the last couple of weeks, in honor of REI Co-op opening, Nebraska Crossing decided to give away a 2022 Subaru Outback Wilderness. And the, the deal all along is we're going to announce it right at the beginning of the Gromha show. So Johanna, how many people entered to win this car? Over 50,000 entered to win the car, and over 35,000 people said they wanted to reserve the right to join the co-op membership for REI. Holy moly. So, Pretty so, exciting. So because of that, REI has a whole bunch of new members. Unbelievable. They already have 20,000 in the state and um, concentrated about 12,000 Omaha and Lincoln. So they're super excited. They've never seen numbers like that. Very cool. Johanna, have you ever won anything big like this? Never. Rod, have you? I ever- tried to pull my own name, but Rod said no way. I got disqualified as well. <laughs> Rod, have you ever won any? Like, what's the? I'm trying to think of the biggest prize I ever won. It was maybe like a hundred dollars at a at some sort of meeting or something like. Maybe a broker open house, Trenton. Have, <laughs> have you ever won anything like a car? I ran a. I won a Big Bertha Golf Club, but uh, I don't golf. So you have that going for you. Well, I'm sure there are people that are, you know, it's kind of like uh, the, the night when they unveil the lottery winners. People have their tickets right there. So, Johanna, I think it's time, isn't it, to unveil who the winner is? It is definitely time, guys. Our winner is Natalia Santos of Nebraska. And again, I'm just going to name it again. Natalia Santos. Please head to Nebraska Crossing immediately. Well, I'm sure you're. I'm sure you're listening, Natalia. And if you want to get your 2022 Subaru Outback Wilderness, get down here to Nebraska Crossing. And when you get here, uh, we'll chat with you a little bit on the radio. If not, Congratulations. If not, we're going to go to the second winner. That's Trenton Mad. <laughs> Trenton Mad. At 9:31, going to the second winner. <laughs> At 9:31, Natalia, come on down. <laughs> well, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the uh, the opening that REI had yesterday. But first, we need to get into our news of the week which is brought to you by Eagle Mortgage, eaglemortgagecompany.com. They know mortgages like nobody knows mortgages, FHA, VA, conventional loans. They do all of that. And so many people right now are working with mortgage brokers because they're able to get them a particularly good deal now that interest rates have gone up and people are still buying and selling houses like crazy in this day and age. If you want to be one of them, simply reach out to Eagle Mortgage. You can find them in person, 114th and Dodge, or online at Eagle Mortgage Company. Com. Well, Trenton, you remember a while back they said that that massive Amazon regional distribution center, Highway 50, Highway uh, 370 in Papillion was going to be put on hold for a while? Yeah, that was crazy. Not for much longer. Lots of activity there lately. and They, looks- found, they found the key. They found, they found the key, and I think that thing is full speed ahead. There's been a lot of activity there, and appears that um, uh, all efforts are being made to have that up and running well before the Christmas shopping season. We've got a couple of downtown apartment projects that were approved by the city council this week. Uh, $28 million flats on Howard on the southeast corner of 24th and Howard Street will receive $3.2 million in tax increment financing. This is being developed by Arch Icon and New Style Development. Six-story building, 120 market-rate apartments, 132 indoor parking stalls. And this is a part of Omaha. If you can picture that whole uh, 23rd and Howard Street area. West of the market. 
Yeah, a lot of activity there lately. There was the garage apartments that were done, renovation of a couple older buildings. So that's really becoming an urban neighborhood there. And then also downtown, in north downtown, Millwork's Commons, Millwork Commons area, the Dizzy Mule Project, which we've talked about before. Sounds like a drink. Would probably be a pretty good cocktail. Um, I wonder if it's one of them that they would serve in that copper mug. Yeah, that looks like a mule. The, uh, it's at 13th and Izzard. And right now, if you go to 13th and Izzard, there's a, there are two historic buildings. Uh, one of them, the smaller one on the south side, is going to be incorporated into this project. There will be a lot of new construction in there. Five-story building, 170 apartments, 18,000 square feet of retail space as well. It's just north of Charles Schwab Field. So it uh, looks like uh, that momentum of downtown um, apartment projects continues to move forward. Well, we always say the two biggest things that Grow Omaha listeners like to hear, other than their name winning a car, is <laughs> new restaurants and skyscrapers. So we got to talk about the skyscraper progress. Barricades are in place around the former W. Dale Clark Library, 14th and Farnham Street. And that means we're getting closer to that October 1st demo day. Demolition. When I drove by earlier this week, there was a, a big moving truck. And I thought, how funny is that? It was just like a residential moving truck. I'm sure, like, getting the last books out of the library. But that's pretty exciting. We're still looking at uh, an on target date of early 2026 for that building to be operational, as well as the streetcar, which will run somewhat close to it. The uh, let's see what's next. Uh, J Development is uh, building the Exarban Keys project on the old site of the Ramada Plaza Coco Key Water Resort. Seventieth and Grover. That too received tax increment financing approval from the city council this week. Sixty-two million dollar project with two hundred and fifty-five uh, apartment units in that project. Tax, tax increment financing is probably the only thing better than winning a Subaru today. <laughs> well. <laughs> Uh, they, they award TIFF in the millions, and the Subaru is expensive, but maybe not quite that valuable. So demo at UNMC is moving forward. Uh, crews are now tearing down the former Monroe Meyer building, southeast corner of 44th and, or rather, Farnham and Saddle Creek. They've already completely removed the former J.P. Lord School building, which had been attached to Monroe Meyer. It's completely gone. But uh, they're making quick work of the Monroe Meyer old building, which was not a small building. Uh, this, of course, is necessary in order to clear the way for the planned $2.7 billion project next. Bring it on. Bring it on. And then finally, the Martin Luther King Jr. Pedestrian Bridge, which connects CHI Health Center Omaha to Lewis and Clark Landing, will be closed October 28th through the uh, well, probably early 2023. That's all part of the construction process going on to the east of it, where the Kiewit Luminarium will open next year and, and Lewis and Clark Landing. So, Trenton, that's our news of the week. It's quick. We're going to take our first break, and when we come back, we're going to be live at Nebraska Crossing. We're celebrating the opening of Nebraska's only REI co-op store. In fact, we're going to talk with Rod Yates and Johanna Boston about how unique that store is and um, just how impressive opening day was yesterday. So you're listening to Jeff and Trent live on location at Nebraska Crossing on Grub Omaha, brought to you by Dingman's Collision Center and DNM Roofing. Back in a moment on News Radio 1110 KFAB. So, so do people, can people can go to the store without joining the club? Yeah, absolutely. And then, and then how fast is the sign up? Uh, immediately, right at the register, they'll give you a $30 on. Yeah. Uh, Actually, I think they changed it to 20. I better check that out. Do you want to, want to take a look at and see what they're giving you as a bonus card right now? So basically, um, you can sign up right at the register and immediately you're going to pick a number. It's super quick. The player will bring on the um, for your next purchase. If you'll get the 15%. Um, you get 10% on full price merchandise as a dividend. You get, um, it's a lifetime membership, so one time fee of $30. You can buy and trade used gear, you get free shipping, 10% dividend, up to 33% okay, off of rental, like camping uh, equipment, everything. So you're still doing the 15%? Oh, yeah, we're not doing 15% cash back in theirs until they, they're they negotiating it for the lease right now. So, so you're still doing that for the rest of the The whole long, yeah. Are you guys still doing like a $1,000 uh, and then, and then uh, credit or something? Oh, it's, it's, it's we got it already and we haven't launched it yet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, 
the members are there. Okay. okay. So you sign up, you're a better co op member. Earlier? And then they give shortly before the talk has started. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 She's right there. She's right there. So she's right there. Right. So right. So she's maybe have her in by 1923. It's a fascinating story. Hopefully, we can it's like no other business around. So you make that way. And then all the employees are. Did they bring their kid with them? No. Oh, okay. No, they came alone. Okay. Do they have a kid? Yeah, two year old. Oh, my God. Yeah, she's a PhD student. I think she graduates in 2026. She's, you know, this is her third degree. So she did Nebraska undergrad, Iowa, um, master's, came back for PhD. She's from Brazil, but she moved here in 2001. Her dad got transferred to Nebraska. Sweet. Yeah. Dad's from Brazil. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's from Brazil. She's from your continent. Yeah. Um, so you were going to say Mike on the I'm like, I did. What's that? <laughs> it's only. It's only. Uh, when I hear her last name, Santos, I'm like, yeah, she's. She's from San Paulo. It's only the fourth one. San Paulo? San Paulo? Yeah. Yeah, we just started demoing the floor and all that good stuff. So now, Talia, we might go as early as 925. No, I'm here, guys. I'm ready. 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 I'm
and they looked at Dodge Street, looked at O Street. Um, they, I think ultimately it came down to strategy of where we want to reach the most customers. And I think being here on I-80 with great infrastructure at, around Nebraska Crossing, that's what won them over. And then, as you know, we do a lot with data and customer acquisition. I think Johanna was pretty confident as we were talking to them that we could, we could acquire 100,000 members into the ecosystem at REI. The, uh, a lot of people I've talked to say that, that REI is, is their favorite store. My brother, who lives in Colorado, this gives them reason to come home. I think a lot of people in Omaha and the metro area are already members. Yeah. Yeah, Johanna referenced that. There's roughly 20,000 in Nebraska right now. And, and you watch Johanna. When we do a show with you in a few months, Johanna will probably have 100,000 Nebraskans in there. So we, we can't thank Nebraskans enough for coming out yesterday, supporting the brand. And obviously, it's going to be a great weekend for them. And they're going to have a great deal of success here. And you know their whole, their whole business model is built around a life outside, right? They, they want to see people out hiking, fishing, snowboarding, all the things you do out, outdoor activities. And that's how the brand was founded by the 20, 23 guys who founded it, buddies that like to do a lot of outdoor hiking. And, and they're just going to be a big win for the community. We surveyed our um, 770,000 app users. 78% of them enjoy outdoor activities like camping, hiking, biking, fishing, you know, snow sports, etc. And the three main things that REI focuses on is camping, biking, cycling, and running. And our customer is, you know, they don't, maybe people don't think about Midwestern, but we have 600 miles of trails. They love that about Nebraska. So they're really excited about what they bring to to the state. I'm excited to see Nebraska Crossing connected by a trail to Gretna Crossing and Mayor Mike Evans and his team and Nebraska Crossing working together to create opportunities for, for the... I, one thing I didn't know, in, in, but I've, I've learned over the last couple of months is that REI is huge with bicycles and, and all that kind of stuff. So what are some of the other offerings at uh, REI? Oh, anything outdoor you can possibly think of. If you're a runner, walker, hiker, you have hokas on running, um, brooks, you name it. Um, the gear, if you're a rock climber, they have all that equipment, backpackers, camping, every type of camping equipment. What I need to say and focus on, and they also have a, a pro um, bike shop in there. You need a flat fix, et cetera. Like if you're an REI member, you get a free flat fix. Um, when you're an REI co-op member, there's lots of benefits. But every single person in that department that they're working on is an expert in that department. They have over 180 hours of training before they can even get on the floor in that department. They grow and learn, and most of the time they focus on those places where they actually really do that as an outdoor sport. So they're really enthusiastic about the outdoors. Well, REI is not the uh, only uh, new retailer at Nebraska Crossing. There are a couple that have opened recently and, and a few other that are, that are coming. Rod, what's, uh, what else is on tap here? Yeah, um, we just opened Dragon Walk. As you guys remember, a couple of weeks back, we, we did the opening of their store, but they're off to a smashing start. They're doing really well at lunch and dinner business. And, and then we opened up Pac Sun, Cold Stone, Rocky Mountain Chocolate are opening real soon. And Aerie, Aerie is opening the project now. So we continue to attract great brands. I think that's kind of where we are. I, I kid with Johanna a lot. We're in the fifth inning of a nine inning game here. So we got a lot of work ahead of us. But I think there's a lot of great brands that we can bring to Nebraska and, and really make sure the community gets the right shopping environment and brands they want to see here. Yeah, we also have Brow Beauty that will be opening soon as well. So they're a you know, local Omaha company, so women can come out and get their brows done, et cetera. Or men, too. <laughs> Rod, Whoever wants it. Rod, on your wish list, what would you like to see develop around Nebraska Crossing as a compliment? You know, we, we've, uh, we've tackled soft goods really, really well here. Um, Trenton, we've got great, great soft goods, footwear, apparel brands. You know, it'd be really nice to see the hard goods like furniture stores and things like that be part of the Nebraska Crossing ecosystem. Um, you can never have enough restaurants. I think we, we target an entertainment district being out here as well. So if we can continue to attract those kind of users, we're going to win big time in the long run here. And, and I think that's a big part of our strategy. Yeah, I think that, you know, the retailers are telling Rod, me, when they talk to us that they really want to be where they feel the center of commerce is, which is Gretna, Nebraska now. We're located just perfectly between Omaha and Lincoln. We also are just have easy access to Iowa. Obviously, we have shoppers that come from a 200-mile radius, so we have a great location. 
All right. Well, you heard us uh, say earlier that uh, we have a winner of the uh, 2022 uh, Subaru Wilderness Outback that Nebraska Crossing gave away. And the winner, Natalia Santos, is here. Good morning, Natalia. Congratulations. Good morning, guys. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. This happens to you oh. every week, right? Oh, yeah. I win a brand new car every week. I don't know where to put them. <laughs> Trent and I, we haven't won anything in our lives. What, what, is that, what did that feel like when you heard your name? You know, I, I thought it was spam. I wasn't <laughs> sure how to deal with the information. I was also putting my baby to sleep, so I couldn't do anything too loud. So I had to quietly celebrate. So I'm excited to finally be outside and be able to, you know, like scream a bit. Because this is, <laughs> this is huge. This is awesome. So uh, let me ask you one cheesy question. Yes. Where's the first place you're going to drive? You know, we do have a camping trip planned for Indian Caves. So oh, wow, we're just going to go perfect. right there. I know. We're like everything in my Ultima. No. Now we can put everything in our Subaru. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, you got to get a like four free license plate or free car license plate or... Thanks, NEX, or... <laughs> Thanks, right. NEX license plate. Well, we got some free car THX, washes, NEX. so we got that going for us. We're ready to get it dirty. So, <laughs> Natalia, what's, uh, what's your story? What, what do you do? Well, I'm a grad student, a PhD student at UNMC. I'm studying public health. So, you know, it's super important um, to be outside, you know, living well. It's easy to do so when you have the condition to do that. So I get really excited that REI is here and getting people outside and being more active. And I love you guys talking about trails and getting people excited to be outside and being active. So this is just the perfect combination of like what I want to do and the fact that we're here doing it. And you teach nutrition, so this is perfect. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm super healthy. Don't ask what I have for <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> well, Natalia, congratulations and, and enjoy that 2022 Subaru Wilderness I will. Outback. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you for the opportunity and for the free ride. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> congratulations. There is such a thing as free ride, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right. Natalia Santos, our, uh, our winner. So, uh, Johanna, that, that has to be kind of uh, fun for you to uh, work with the winners of the various things you guys give away. I love it. We just get to meet the best people. Um, Natalia and her husband Cameron have a, a little boy who's two years old and I just think what a great safe car. Um, we did purchase it from Baxter. Do want to give them a shout out. That's okay. Um, and it is a beautiful black tricked out car with a full um, rooftop you know, cabin on it and um, hopefully they'll enjoy it for a long time. They told me that there were members um, they lived uh, for about um, five years out in Arizona. She was a professor um, for ASU you and uh, they joined REI when they were out there. So we already have all these stories that we're hearing about REI members for years and years. Well, it's cool stuff. We're going to take our middle of the show break. And when we come back, we're going to talk more about uh, some business things happening here in Gretna that Rod and Johanna are involved in. And Jim Pillen has stopped by the uh, member of the NU Board of Regents and gubernatorial candidate. We're going to talk to Jim and get his opinion on a couple of economic development issues since he's here. You're listening to Jeff and Trenton on Grow Omaha, live from Nebraska Crossing, celebrating the new REI co-op store. We're brought to you by Dingman's Collision Center and DNA. Them roofing back in a moment on News Radio 
Chargers for your USB-C. Congratulations. Like, 
hey, this, thank you for bringing REI here. This is amazing. I live in Lincoln, you know, you know, and it's just a bunch of outdoorsy, really, you know, people that are passionate about it. So it's pretty cool. Do they get a pretty good employee discount? They, I think, I don't know what their discount is actually. Do you know what their discount is? But they, you know, they get um, just benefits just as far as shareholder, you know, like they're, they, you know, own it, you know, oh, oh. it's employee owned, you know, the co-op. So there's a benefit there. I don't know what it is though. But they do pay well. 30 seconds, which probably will have 20 now. I mean, they were paying like 1680 just wow. to start. Oh my gosh. They and that's almost not what it's Which I was not happy about. Do you know if Kona Ice is going to be out there? Yeah, okay. sure. well, they're there. Uh, one of Thunder. One of those non forecasted thunder. Yeah. <laughs> Nebraska. All right, here we go. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get and welcome back to the show Jeff Fields and Trenton Magnet at your service we're brought to you by Dingman's Collision Center and DNM Roofing and we do have our commercial real estate development spotlight of the week brought to you by Noddle Companies and that is the new five story building that is planned for 15th and Mike Fahey streets is a full go city council gave it final approval this week uh, this is going to be 120,000 square feet 57 million dollar invested investment constructed of mass timber and uh, it'll be part of the Builders District, which is being developed by Noddle Companies. And if you want to learn more about Noddle Companies, just go to the website, which is appropriately enough named, noddlecompanies.com. They do developments all over the metro area and many other states as well. Well, we're in Nebraska Crossing in Gretna celebrating the REI Co-op Grand Opening. We have Rod Yates and Johanna Boston with us. And Rod, we're sitting here, we're celebrating, and you have dignitaries uh, coming by our, our table right now. Yeah, Mr. Pillen wanted to come and check out REI and... We know, but I think we should put him on the radio show with us, don't you think? Well, yeah, with Jim Pillen, who is a member of the NU Board of Regents and gubernatorial candidate. Good morning, Jim. Good morning. Thanks well, for having me, Rod. We appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, uh, thanks Jeff for and Trenton, us. you guys are uh, pros. Well, we, uh, we try to mask that. Uh, Finally, after 19 years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so since we have you um, here, Jim, you know, one of our big issues is economic development. We're right. cheerleaders for the growth and development of the metro area and, of course, the state as a whole. And uh, maybe you could kind of give us an idea about some of your thoughts on, on Omaha growth and development, Nebraska growth and development, and uh, perhaps some philosophies of economic development. Yeah, well, I think that it, uh, it's the future, right? And uh, the time could not be better than the future in Nebraska right now for growth and economic development. Um, as I say, uh, we have the greatest people in the world that live in the state of Nebraska, and, uh, and because of what we've come out uh, and uh, great leadership, uh, our economy is booming, and uh, we are uh, sucking people from the coastlines uh, and everywhere else to come to Nebraska. And, and, and the other key piece of, uh, of growing it all is uh, uh, we've been focused talking about our kids, and uh, Everybody, uh, we all agree, it doesn't matter what we have on our forehead, we all agree, we never ever give up on kids, and we got to train all of our kids, educate our kids, and have great jobs so we have a thriving middle class in Nebraska. So those are things that are, the timing is right, uh, and the timing is now, and uh, what Nebraska Crossing is doing here, uh, what Rod and Johanna have done the last 10 years, just a beautiful example of countless, countless Nebraskans with incredible entrepreneurship, innovation, risk-taking, and making a lot of things happen. Well, so, so Jim, what do you think are uh, maybe one or two of the key things that the state of Nebraska could do, yeah. let's say in the coming four years, for yes. example, um, to make us an even more desirable place to attract people, to grow companies, and and to uh, hang on to our, our young our young people. Yeah, I think uh, I think two things that uh, are uh, absolutely positively no brainers is our roads and broadband. Uh, I'm a strong fiscal conservative, but I'm a believer uh, that uh, there's times just like in business, you don't have enough cash flow out of your yearly income to do what needs to be done that you need to do bonding. So I'm a believer we've uh, we've had uh, too many four lane roads under construction for 40 years in the state. We have to change that mindset. We have to get in the game and compete harder. Uh, and uh, number two, 
broadband access. I, I mean, uh, we have parts of even our metropolitan communities. It's not acceptable. Uh, we can never, ever give up on a kid. We have to have broadband access in every every home uh, across the entire state, as I say, from the river out to Harrison. Rod, you know, as a, as a local businessman, as a Nebraska businessman, um, you have big plans in addition to Nebraska Crossing. You have a, a company called Just Data, uh, which is really blowing up right now. And since we're talking to Jim Pillen about economic development, maybe you could weigh in on, on some of your thoughts as, as a guy who's trying to do some things that are even bigger than what you've already done here in Nebraska. Yeah, I mean, my, what was important to me is, you know, I'm a, a Husker alum, and, and, you know, it's the support that you get in Nebraska is second to none. I mean, from the city support to the state government, we get phenomenal support from all around us. And when we started Just Data, you know, there's lots of places we could have done this, Silicon Valley, you know, East Coast, West Coast. But I, I was really adamant that we're going to do it in Nebraska. And I, I told Johanna that you're going to love the workforce here. The people here are really sharp. They're really motivated. They work really hard. And that's what we see. And so as we look at Just Data, our sports division is just taken off through the roof. Um, you know, I could see us having 250 employees working with Just Data here in Gretna, Nebraska, here in the very near future. And and just like I predicted, we're going to get ph- phenomenal community support, and that's what's happening around us. For those people who haven't heard us talk about Just Data in the past, can you give them, uh, before we go any further, a 30,000-foot overview of what that company does? Yeah, what, what we do is, so we, we founded ourselves in the retail space, and when we started Nebraska Crossing 10 years ago, we were going to remake the, the shopping center in, industry into a fintech ecosystem. We've had great success at that. The the attributes of what's come out of that with our customers and our retail brand performance has been second to none. And then we started looking at other industries, whether it's the trucking industry, collegiate sports. Um, We found that our platform can help universities and the NFL acquire fans and customers into their ecosystem and make a much richer experience for sponsors that are in those ecosystems at the college level. And and it's really turned out to be a phenomenal thing. Uh, this week, we're traveling to Notre Dame, Michigan, and Ohio State. They're ready for us to onboard Just Data into their sports ecosystems. And, and everywhere we go, it's success. So we're going to have some really good stories uh, that's going to happen in Q4 with where this business is headed. So, Rod, Just Data, Just Data started with, well, one of the big pushes has been this 15% off app Yep. with all your retailers here. Remind us about that and where you're going with that. Yeah, so, so what, we, what we did at Nebraska Crossing is that through FinTech, we built the technology, we patented the technology. If you walk into our center, we're going to give you 15% cash back at any brand. So you can go spend $100 at Nike, earn $15, and go redeem it at Under Armour. And so we did a lot of studying. Johanna did more than me, but we did a lot of studying at McKinsey Consulting about what does the next generation loyalty program look like? So instead of you know just earning Southwest Airline miles or Hilton Hotel you know points, what we found is that the consumer wants to be able to earn and redeem across all kinds of industries. And so I see a vision for us at Nebraska Crossing where Geico's in our industry, where you can buy an, an auto policy at Geico, earn cash back on that policy, redeem it, or earn cash back at some of our retail brands and buy a policy through Geico for your auto insurance. So. That's where this is all headed. It's all based on fintech. It's all based on a new different loyalty platform that brings in all your durable, non-durable consumer items that you need in your daily life. And that's what we're building the ecosystem on. What I like about the Cash App at uh, NEX is that it's real benefit that I don't have to do anything and that my credit card's on file and that's automatically points earned and for future discounts as opposed to like, Best Buy. I remember when they changed their program, and and if you don't ask for it or you don't um, follow it online or whatever, you don't get it in a lot of retailers. But but here it's automatic. It's transparent. Is is the best word I would use is our transparency of our platform. Is that you can you can follow it through your app wallet. Um, you never have to understand if it's points or 
you know, what you're earning, you're earning cash. So you can, can re- easily use cash. And Johanna wants it, some thoughts there. Yeah, it's just a passive rewards system. Once you on board to our app and decide that you want to earn cash back, because why wouldn't you? You link securely through Plaid. Um, it's a multi-billion dollar company. We don't hold any credit card information. It's just a mechanism so that our back end that's patented is I- able to identify that you just shopped at Nike at Nebraska Crossing, and we're going to reward you that 15% cash back. That money goes right into your app wallet, which is a virtual Stripe Visa card. Everything is seamless. You don't even have to ever open our app. You can shop and not think about it. Your kids can be connected to it. You can share it within your family. Your husband can earn, and then you can go spend it at Tory Burch, whatever you <laughs> you would like to do. But it's a passive reward system, and this is something that we've been studying. Companies have been studying for a very long time. Jim Pellin, when we hear about companies like Just Data that, that Rod and Johanna uh, have brought to life and are now getting ready to take off, those are the types of things that really could, could set Nebraska apart in the future, those tech companies that are cutting edge that could take advantage of our educated workforce. Exactly, and what's so, uh, what's so exciting about it, <clears throat> it just seems like it was yesterday. I was playing in a football game in Gretna, and it was out in the cornfields, and now we are sitting right here and it's an epicenter halfway between downtown omaha halfway to lincoln bringing two great cities together and bringing people from all over the state i think the destination here for retail you know is uh uh, 40 to 50 percent of the people this is a destination day and then when you talk about the technology with broadband access we can have brains like rod and johanna they can do that in the sand hills as well there's extraordinary opportunities and to bring every kid wants to come home every kid wants to live here now with a new way world of doing business kids can have a great job in from new york city but come home and do that job anywhere so that the opportunity to grow this state is off the charts i've never met a human being that does not want to be around great people. And when I, I love asking Nebraskans that have moved here because us lifetimers take it for granted. Uh, what do you love the most about Nebraskan? And they don't take a breath, it's the people. Uh, great people attract great people. And uh, our, we've got to make sure our kids know the grass is greenest right here in Nebraska. I smell corporate campus <laughs> right here in Gretna. <laughs> I, I think it's important. We've talked about this with the state for a long period of time. You know, once these kids get educated, they're going for their master's, their Ph.D., they don't necessarily have a job that they can stay here. And I know that, you know, remote working has maybe helped out a little bit, people coming back home. But we want something here, you know, that we can grow, that we can keep those kids here that are making over $100,000 a year and really keep them in the state. And uh, the growth for H3 jobs uh, is incredible. And again, it's everywhere. It's just not in one spot. It's across the state. And, uh, and uh, you know, we're, we're, we're closing in on being 100,000 people short. So workforce is everything. Uh, and uh, we all, uh, as I say, we have to start bragging. We, we have to start bragging about how much we pay people so that we have the ability to keep attracting. We've been too humble in Nebraska. Uh, we, have to, we have to really, really start telling our story a lot more. Well, uh, Jim, before we, before we let you go and we go to our final break of the hour, I do want to ask you one thing. Johanna tells me you're quite the outdoorsman, so uh, this REI store here kind of appealed to you too, huh? I think the REI store is really, really good. Uh, you know, I, uh, I like to be outside 100% of the time and uh, uh, doing a, a whole uh, a cadre of things. Uh, being around animals is, is one of my highlights, but uh, I think REI is going to be fantastic. Uh, there's uh, nobody that's not going to go in to REI and uh, not have a great experience. And uh, get, you know, uh, public health, as Natalia said, it's a, it's a big deal, more active. If every one of us keep using it, we can't lose it. That's true. Well, Johanna, I know you have some, you want to say something real fast before the break? I just want to say that we have a line forming around REI. We have a grand opening happening. They're going to do another ribbon cutting. There's special giveaways for the first probably 500 people that end up coming to the store. Um, Come and visit us today. There's lots of goodies outside too. There's going to be nonprofits, but there's also Kona Ice and um, Brooks Running and all of these great nonprofits and also businesses to support REI grand opening today. So 
come out and see us. Well, we're live at Nebraska Crossing Celebrate, the aforementioned REI co-op grand opening. Going to take our final break of the hour. And when we come back, it'll be the Turner Construction Lightning Round. You're listening to Jeff and Trenton on Grow Omaha, brought to you by Dingman's Collision Center and D&M Roofing. Back in a moment on News Radio 1110 KFAB. Thank you. Great job. Thank you. What are H3 jobs? I do man. Okay. I pay. Oh, okay. Perfect. Thanks. Well done, John. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Thanks so much. John, let's walk through. Yeah. How much do we have? We have about 90 seconds and then we'll have just four and a half minutes. Yes, we're going to fly through. Okay. Yeah, I'll take a while, but they're, they're pretty important what you get. So I'm just going to fly through the lightning round stuff real fast. Whatever you're going to do, you can turn them out. What's that? Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> funny. Might need to upgrade those chairs. Next <laughs> 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 Yeah. I think I found a brand new vulnerability. Yeah, whatever you don't know. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, Johanna. Well, that's not my chair. I, I asked for us to order new tents and chairs a long time ago, so. <laughs> you know, like the town you are. property manager. <laughs> so. Exactly. Good thing we're not. Yeah, we're not a fly chair. <laughs> Our backs are that's covered. Right. Yeah. Okay, so we real quick. I'll, I'll fly through the news stuff real fast, and then I think we probably want to reiterate just get out of uh, the. And they're doing store. it tomorrow too. So okay. twenty three percent off. I did. I forgot to say that, or did I say it? I don't you, think I you said it. We'll say it again. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we'll get people another pitch to get okay. out of here. Yeah. They'll go fly a lot. We only have about four and a half minutes, and and the news will probably take. Sponsor probably the news and probably take a good three and a half seconds. See, the one thing was about Jim Dillon. Here we go. Okay. Good? Yeah. 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 And welcome back to the show. Jeff Beals and Trenton Maggot live at Nebraska Crossing celebrating the brand new REI co-op store, which opened yesterday. We are going to take a moment for the Turner Construction Lightning Round. Turner Construction is one of the world's biggest construction companies, but here in Omaha, they behave like one of your local contractors, helping you with interior build-outs, helping you build a new uh, building of any type for your business. And, of course, a lot of people are familiar with Turner because they are doing the massive Sarpy County Data Center, which is not too terribly far away from where we're sitting right here in Nebraska Crossing. So we thank Turner uh, for bringing this to you. All right, so what's on the docket? Well, we have Chirpy's Play Cafe is going to be opening soon in a yet-to-be-announced Omaha location. Uh, Spencer Morrissey from NAI NP Dodge, our colleague, did that deal. It's going to be really cool. It's going to be part coffee shop restaurant and part kids' play area, so it's supposed to be good for parents and kids. We've got the weekend Lakeside Bar and Grill opening in, has opened in Ashland in the Big Sandy area. We can tell you that the official grand opening date for Texas Day Brazil the Churrascaria, easy for you to say, uh, will be October 10th. That's been a long time coming down at the Capital District. Yeah, long time coming. Uh, FO 79 will hold the grand opening celebration Sunday, October 2nd. I think it's FO. FO, sorry, FO 79. Yeah, they serve FO. FO, FO to you. Um, <laughs> what the FO? <laughs> at any rate, the new Vietnamese restaurant located in Miracle Hills. Speaking of Miracle Hills, FedEx office, print shop, and ship center. That's Ship Center, has opened in a newly constructed freestanding building, uh, replacing one just on the south side of Dodge. And uh, one other restaurant thing, coming to Regency Landing, a national chain called Clean Eats Cafe, 70 locations, 18 states, closest existing St. Louis and Chicago, uh, heart-driven healthy food. All right, we have Rod Yates and Johanna Boston with us. One more minute here at Nebraska Crossing. Um, I tell you, Rod, you got to love looking out the window and seeing a line of people uh, waiting to get into the new REI store to just kind of take part in all the deals they have there. Yeah, I mean, it looks to me like it's 250 people deep, so it's going to be a big day in there today. And 
I mean, what a fun day to have a really nice family come out here and win a car. Um, that has been a long time coming, and, and we can't be thankful enough to the folks at Back Baxter that help us put all that together and help us build a big database of people to, to enter to win that car. So thanks again to Mickey Anderson and his team of people at, at Baxter. What a great experience for the folks here today. Johanna, uh, why don't you remind people of the great deals they'll get if they come to REI today? They're giving you a coupon when you walk into the door, 23% off your purchase. Um, you know, there may be some exclusions, but there's lots of free giveaways today. There's tents outside with all of their vendors and nonprofits that they're already supporting, like Fontenelle Forest. Um, so just come on out, enjoy the day, come take a look around. If you've never heard of REI, come and check it out. You're going to just fall in love with this store. So we want to thank everybody for really supporting us because every time we do an opening out here, we say if we open strong, we'll stay strong. And that's why these stores are so profitable out here. And we love the community and they love being in Nebraska. And this is the 41st state to have an REI, and this is the 178th location. Correct. I, they're in 41 states. I don't know if we're, maybe we're 42. Oh, Nebraska um, in their, be I believe so. Um, their press release said 177 and 41, so we must be 42 and 178. 178. We love having them here. Um, you know, come and talk to the employees. If you have any question about any kind of gear, you will find the answer there. And then, Rod, this is not the, Nebra the, the last new uh, retailer that's going to be coming to Nebraska Crossing. You can't necessarily say. Yeah. who's on the docket, but you're talking with a lot of names that will turn people's heads. I'll, I'll tell you, there's 100,000 square feet of new-to-market retail that we're negotiating leases with as we speak. So we're, we're going to have a great fourth quarter and announce a lot of great brands. And with that, the music is playing, and we are done. We're live at Nebraska Crossing REI Co-op. Get out here and see it today. In the meantime, I'm Jeff Beals. And I'm Trenton Maggot. You've been listening to Grow Omaha, brought to you by Turner Construction, Dingman's Collision Center, and d &M Roofing. We'll chat with you next week at 9 o'clock right here on News Radio 1110 KFAB. If you like this video, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And remember, Grow Omaha is not just media. This is a mission. We are trying to build up Omaha and make it an even better place. We can only do that with your help. Share this video with your friends, neighbors, and family.